I love Disney World. I love the magic, the characters, the food, the people who put a lot of effort into making your stay a wonderful experience. And of course, I love the weather. I like helping other people make the most out of their visit through tips and tutorial videos. So if it's going to be your first time at Disney World or your hundred, I have something to offer for everyone because I am the Armier Expert. If you're planning a trip to Disney World, you need to familiarize yourself with the Disney app. It has many features that are essential for your time at any of the four parks. The time to download the Disney app is well before you go to the park, and if you have the time, I would say at least a month before. The reason for this is so you have the time to familiarize yourself with many of its features that are going to make your life so much easier when you're at the park. The last thing you want to do is stand in the middle of Magic Kingdom trying to figure out how the app works for the first time. You'll be wasting valuable park time and valuable memories you could be making instead. Simply put, it's a plenty tool that's available for everyone for free as part of the Disney app. Disney claims many of its patrons complain about not having any spontaneous moments in the park anymore. It's not how they remembered it as a kid. So Disney is hoping that Disney Genie will bring back some of those moments. Genie Plus works by making an itinerary plan for the day you wish to visit the park and is based on input from you, the customer. You can tell Genie Plus all the rides you want to ride at a certain park or you can simply input the type of experiences you enjoy and the service will come up with a plan for you on the best part of the day you should line up for a certain ride to minimize crowds. It also takes into account the day of the week and the time of the month you're visiting for it'll predict expected crowd levels and plan your day around it so you have the most chance of getting on the various things you told the app you want to do at any of the parks that you're visiting. So this means that no two days will be the same. If you go to the same park twice on two different days the G and program in exactly the same rides, the Genie Plus feature will basically plan your day differently based on the day of the week and again the time of month as well as what month of the year. Genie Plus has two parts, the tip board which shows you all the rides in the various parks in alphabetical order as well as the current wait times to see or ride the various attractions. The planned itinerary that I referred to earlier can be found in the My Day section of the app which is the section containing an itinerary of your day that Genie Plus has planned for you based on the preference for rides and experiences that you had input. It shows you the best time to visit each of these experiences and rides along with a prediction of how long the wait time would be like. This section is also dynamic, so as the day progresses, it will update the rides that you should do sooner rather than later as a result of low wait times. Because this is so dynamic, you must check in with the app constantly so that you make sure that you're able to get on the ride you want because all of a sudden, it has a low wait time. As you can imagine, this section is not going to be available to you till the day of your trip to one of the parks because obviously it won't plan your day unless you bought a ticket and have a reservation. The tip board section, on the other hand, is always available to you whether or not you purchase a ticket and can be accessed anytime 24-7 from the comfort of your own home. If this is going to be your first time going to Disney World parks, go down and explore this section and look at the various rides and attractions available at each park. You'll also get an idea of popular rides at each park by the wait times for each of those rides. Clicking on an attraction gives you insight into the height requirements for the ride as well as what type of ride it's going to be along with the current wait time but also a prediction of potential wait times for the day of your visit. Realize that these predictions could change based on real-time crowd data. Everything I've showcased for you so far is free and available to you and anyone that wants to go and use the app and visit the parks. As I said, some of the free features are always available to you 24-7 and other features are only available to you when you buy a ticket. When you explore the tip board from your home, you'll realize that some of the rides present you with a Genie Plus Lightning Lane option. Now, this is a paid feature that costs $15 per person per day on top of the price of your ticket for the park. This paid option gets you to bypass the standby line. So once you've paid for this feature, you can have up to 40 rides available to you of rides and attractions across the four parks that you could book for for a specific time so you're not waiting in line for long periods. Using the tip boards, you can see which rides have the lightning lane option that you can use to book the ride for a specific time. Once you book to show up to a certain ride at a certain time, it lets you show up to the ride within, within an hour long window. This feature allows you to guarantee a spot on a ride within that fixed window so you can show up to the ride right when you need to be there. As the name Lightning Lane implies, you get to basically wait a lot less and depending on the time of the day, you could walk right onto the ride with zero wait times. However, there are two rides from each of the parks that are not included in this paid service. 
these rides are the best rides at each of the parks. These rides are the best rides at each of those parks. And to bypass those lines to those rides, you need to buy a separate pass to each of those rides. This extra paid feature is known as the individual lightning lane. You can buy these passes individually if these are the only rides you care about at any of the parks and those are the only rides for which you wish to skip the line. You could totally do that without having to pay for the Genie Plus Lightning Lane feature at $15 a day. Now, I can see you're starting to get confused. So let's break this down by options that you have so that you understand what's available to you. Option one, you don't have to pay for any premium features. You can just let Genie Plus program your day based on your interests and take its recommendations and ride the rides at the various times it's predicting. And the benefit of this is that it's free and again, it keeps things spontaneous, right? That was the whole point of having this feature to begin with. The downside of this is that there are long wait times and there may be long wait times and you may not be able to do all the rides you wanted to do by the end of the day. And if you're only there at the park for one day, um, say Magic Kingdom just for the one day, then you might miss out on that opportunity this time. Option two, purchase the Genie Plus Lightning Lane Pass at $15 a day per park. So in other words, each day you visit a park, it's gonna cost you $15 a day. The benefit of this, well, you have fast access to over 46 rides over the four parks. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're lucky, some of the waits are non-existent. You could just literally walk in and go on your ride. The downsides to this is that it costs $15 a day. So if you have a lot of people in your party, it may add up real fast. Remember that this pass doesn't get you access to every ride at the park because there are two rides at each of the parks that are not included in the Disney Genie Plus Lightning Lane feature. Option three, purchase the Genie Plus Lightning Pass and the individual Lightning Lane passes for the rides you wanna do. The benefit of this is to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the popular rides during your stay. If you don't plan on visiting again anytime soon or ever again for that matter, this is a good option to have even at the extra cost. Obviously, you're gonna be paying anywhere from $29 to $45 to skip all the lines at the premium rides. It's quite a bit of change, but then again, it depends on how you wanna spend your money. And if you wanna make sure that you have a chance to go on all the rides you have ever wanted, then it's not that big a deal to fork up that money because the price pays for itself. Option four, purchase only the individual Lightning Lane passes so that you only have to pay to bypass for one or two lines, um, for one or two rides at each of the parks. And these are the most popular ride at each of the parks. With this option, you're riding the best rides and are guaranteed a spot on it, so you don't miss out on it. And the downside is that if you decide to pay for both premium rides at each park, it'll cost you at least $14 to skip line, and it's only for two rides, while the Disney Genie Lightning Lane option only costs $15. As you can see, there are many options here, and if you get confused, you can ask me questions in the comments below. But I think I presented a very clear picture on what to expect your first time or your hundredth time that you're at Disney World. The Genie Plus Lightning Lane is fairly new, and it's going to take a while for everybody to understand. So watch this video as many times as you have to, to get wrap this all around your head. And whatever you do, make sure you download the app and play around with it. And play around with it as much as you can before you go to the parks. I'm going to be doing more beginner videos for Disney uh, for people who've never gone before, as well as people who've gone there hundreds of times. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.